Hi everyone and welcome to this course. In this course, we're going to talk about number theories. In each section, we will have a brief description and after that, we solve some problems. So let's get started. In this section, we're going to talk about divisibility. Remember in previous math courses, whenever we wanted to show um, division, we would do B divided by A equal to a number C, for example. But here, we're going to show A divides B. So this line is called divides. So it means that A divides B and then you will get a number c so if this number c is an integer is a positive integer then that means that uh, this divisibility works so that means a can divide b so we have to make sure that our number c is a positive integer so if we want to look at an example here we will say, for example, um, 6 divides 18, and we know that this is divisible because C is going to be 3. Because 3 multiplied by 6 is giving us 18. Our, num our A is 6, our B is 18, so our C is going to be 3. So there are a few properties that you have to keep in mind for divisibility. Properties. A, if A divides B and A divides C, then A divides B plus C. Now, if you want to look at an example for this, if 3 divides 6 and if 3 divides 15, so then 3 divides 21. Because 15 plus 6 will give us 21. So this one is B plus C, and we know that this is correct. This is divisible. For our second property, we're going to say if A divides B, then A divides B multiplied by C. Our C have to be an integer. So our C have to be an integer. So an example for this, it's going to be 2 divides, um, for example, 10. And then if we multiply 10 by any number, that number should be divisible by 2. So now I'm going to uh, multiply 10 by multiply 10 to 3. So I'm going to get 2 divided by 30. So the C that I used here was 3, which itself is not divisible by 2. But when they are multiplied together, 2 can divide 30. So it is still divisible. That means this um, second property holds as well. So for our last property, we're going to say If A divides B and B divides C, then A divides C. So this and this. Now let's uh, look at an example for this. We're going to say 2 divides 10 and then b 10 divides 20 
or let's do another number. Ten divides thirty. So from here we can say two divides sorry. We can say two divides thirty, which our C is going to be fifteen. It is a positive integer, so that means this divisibility holds as well. And as a result of that, this property holds as well. Now we're going to talk about division algorithms. We have this equation. A is equal to D Q plus R. A should be an integer, so I'm going to show it like this. And then D should be a positive integer. Q is called quotient here. And then R is our reminder or remainder. So for this, we have a unique Q and R. So we have a unique quotient and remainder. We can say A is equal to, for example, um, 13, and our D equals to, equals to 7. So now if we want to write this with this formula, we're going to have 13 equals to 7, the number that multiplies by 7, to get 13 is only 1, plus 6 remainder. Another thing that you have to keep in mind is that your R remainder have to be either equal to 0 or greater than 0, but it has to be less than D. So in this case, it has to be less than 7, which it is less than 7, it is 6, but here we want to put D.